Good morning, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I am so excited today that I share with you one particular thought that crossed my mind when I was reading John chapter 2, verse 1 up to 11. There is a story about wedding at Cana. This family, when they organized their wedding amongst the invitees, they included Jesus Christ to be one of the guests. And Jesus graced that occasion together with the disciples. When they ran out of wine, Jesus performed a miracle that saved the situation. It would have been a disgrace to finish their wedding without wine as it was their tradition. But because of one guest, their situation was saved. Jesus was there to solve their problems. There's a saying that if you are not invited, throw your own party or throw your own event. Or if you cannot, don't complain. Because sometimes not being invited can also be a blessing. Because being invited to an event comes with accountability. Do you know that many of us today, we have invited wrong people in our lives. Many of us today have many friends that we can manage. People who have studied emotional intelligence have concluded to say it is even difficult for people with high IQ to manage making four people as their close friends because it comes with too much responsibility. There is confidentiality, there is accountability, there are so many responsibilities. If you have friends, you have to know that you have to be there. In times of their happiness, you have to be there. When they are in sorrow, you have to be there. This is the reason why many people today, they are broken hearted because people they thought they were friends, they broke their heart. At the time they needed the most, they were not there in their lives. But I'm happy that this family, they invited Jesus. He was not popular by then. Jesus was just in the early time of his ministry. But they decided to invite him into their wedding. What choices do you have? Or what qualities do you look in people when you are inviting them to your events? What qualities do you look into people before you make them friends? Look for friends that can add quality, not friends that can only help you to pass time. Have friends that can ask you tough questions. Have friends that can ask you why you are doing this or why you are not doing this. Have friends that can make you accountable, not friends who clap hands when you are doing things that are foolish. Or have friends who always say, no, this is good, this is what. Have friends that can tell you that no, my brother, we used to see you in church. We used you to we used to see you treating your family well, but now you have changed. Those are the friends to keep. But many of us today, we want to have friends that should be outside our business. That it, this is because we are just taking everybody. But if you have a true friend, a true friend will be there for you in everything. My brothers and sisters. For us to correct the mistakes that we made, there is one choice we can make. In the same way we invited them to our lives, we can disinvite them. Our call for friendship is to love everyone, but not to make everybody as a close friend. God wants us to love everybody because we are all created in his image. But he does not command us to make everybody a close friend because he knows that by having so many friends, we cannot process everything well and many of us can end up being confused. May God help us today as we take an inventory of our friends and see who we can make as a close friend. Because besides our families, besides our spouses, we cannot have so many people outside we call close friends. That's a recipe for many heartbreaks. May God help us to choose well in people that can come close to our lives because friends that surround us are the reflection of our character.
May God help us to have friends that will not make us happy, but will also help us to live a righteous life and also be found in the kingdom. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. You are with me, Victor Kaola. Thank you so much.